My name is Parker White. I founded Backpack Beginnings in 2010. Our mission is to deliver child-centric services to feed, clothe, and comfort children in need. Unfortunately, Gilbert County was just ranked number one in the nation for food insecurity, and that is a number one status that you don't want. Approximately 67% of the children in our school system are low income. That is 49,000 children that potentially have a basic need that needs to be met. When I started all of this, I wasn't looking to start a nonprofit. I was just looking for a way to give back to the community. And it started in my dining room. The plan was to feed 50 children in one school, and we'll be in 45 schools this fall. We've grown from 50 children to over 6,000 annually. We have four main programs at Backpack Beginnings. There's a food bag program, which goes to the Head Starts and the elementary schools. We also have a comfort backpack program, which is for abused, neglected, homeless, and refugee children. And we send out about 1,400 of those a year. And then our final program is our clothing pantry, which sends out 1,200 clothing items a month. Each year we're increasing and providing a much needed resource for the community. Parker has made an enormous difference in Guilford County. Many of our students come to school with inadequate nutrition. Kids need to be well fed in order to focus on math and reading. This program is a, is a real godsend for our schools. Thank you. Thank you. We have a lot of hungry children in Greensboro. This organization has really helped my family by not having to scrap and say put a bill on hold in order to get the necessary uh, foods that we need. People seem to think that you're not a good parent because you need help or you've done something. Surviving, it doesn't have to be such a chore and I can move on to trying to get us to living a little bit and not just surviving. You're helping to feed 1,500 children on a weekly basis, of which you don't even meet them. I don't even know if it's measurable, the impact that she's had. I have been extremely blessed in my life, and I feel like I've been called to give back. The end game here is that no child in our area is struggling for food, for clothing, for school supplies, that those tangible needs are met.